California was the first state to make medical marijuana legal back in 1996. Now, for the first time ever, a federal agency has recognized that marijuana does have medical benefits. Last week, the National Cancer Institute added a summary of marijuana's possible benefits to its treatment, treatment database. It reads, quote, the potential benefits of medical, medicinal, I should say, cannabis for people living with cancer include antiemetic, oh, I hope I got that right, effects, appetite, appetite st stimulation, pain relief, and improved sleep. In the practice of interactive oncology, the healthcare provider may recommend medicinal cannabis not only for symptom management, but also for its possible direct anti-tumor effect. So that's a lot of medical benefits. This new assessment from the National Cancer Institute could have an impact on the classification of marijuana as a Schedule One drug. That's the harshest possible drug degree classification. One of the main criteria for a Schedule One drug is that, quote, the drug or other substance has no currently accepted medical use in treatment in the United States. Now, if a federal agency has recognized the medicinal benefits of marijuana, technically, it shouldn't be moved down to a Schedule Three drug. But a change of scheduling for pot could also mean an end to the federal government using a tax law loophole to put medical marijuana shops out of business. For years, the IRS has been citing Section 280E of the tax code that blocks medical shops from getting business tax deductions. It reads, quote, no deduction or credit shall be allowed for any amount paid if such trade or business consists of trafficking and controlled substances within the meaning of Schedule 1 and 2 of Controlled Substances Act. So if pot ends up becoming a Schedule 3 drug, this loophole that the feds are using would have no standing. You understand the importance of this? Then they could not bust all those shops that are selling marijuana. Finally, the government has admitted, you know what? Medical marijuana does have benefits. Now, can we stop this madness? It's been nearly 75 years on this war on drugs. It's not working.